Hello, all my wonderful RC people. So today I'm setting up to start building my sand scorcher that I was lucky enough to be blessed with by the legendary RC elf. You see here, he's upgraded. He got himself a Tamiya belt buckle. You know, you know that's pure performance right there. And I was going to do one of my standard build videos where I just start building and recording and then edit it all together, but... The more I think about it, I really just want to enjoy building this kit. It's such a wonderful, iconic, special kit, and I just want to enjoy building it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, pictures of it as I build while I watch your videos. Um, luckily enough, there's several people out there that have already done build videos on this, so it's not that big deal. But I'm just going to enjoy building this beautiful, beautiful car that the RC Elf gave me, and... I am going to give you updates along the way and watch your all's videos while I build. So uh, stay tuned and let's get rolling. <laughs> So I've completed step one of getting the gearbox together. And it's all together, and I, I love this sound. One of my favorite sounds, those those gears running together. Hey, maybe we can get the camera angle just right. You can see them running. Okay, so a little bit of a builder's note on this when you assemble it. Uh, when you put the two halves together, if you put a little grease in between them, that'll keep dust and things from getting inside your casing, or it'll help prevent it at least. And that's another trick I picked up from Steve over at Shen RC. He's really helped me throughout the years. I've picked up a lot of tips from that guy. He's always been one of the first ones to help me build things. So, and then one of the other things, and this is something I picked up on, when you put the gear casing together and you tighten it down all the way, it does make your gears very tight. It smashes them in just a little too far. So, if you put your screws in and then back them off a quarter turn, nice and smooth. And also another really cool thing is the motor they give you. There we go. You can read it. That's a Johnson. And out of uh, the stock Tamiya motors, this is the better one to get. This is better than the Mubachi. So very cool on that too. getting ready to bring this section to an end and I am just blown away by the amount of engineering that went into this model. This is just a this whole clamshell is just an interesting idea. Now I can't fit a modern sized uh, battery in it or even you know the, the normal what you would call a Tamiya battery in it but I've got plenty of other batteries that'll fit in there no problem so that's not even an issue. Uh, what 
I just didn't, uh, I've, you know, I've never really built one like this before. This is something completely new. So I got it sitting here. I already got my radio on. We'll switch this baby on. Look how that steering works. Isn't that, that is just interesting. Have you ever seen a steer, the way that steering saver is, a servo saver? It's just like a, a metal ring. Eh, it's really neat. And then, of course, we got the power all going good. We'll pick that up a little bit. Well, pushing the, the bearings out of the carriers. It's waiting for the... I got to put the tires on next. But this is... Let me switch her back off here. I ended up going... I was going to use a different ESC so I'd have a low voltage cutoff. But I ended up going with the Tamiya one because it just fits the on and off switch perfectly. These cam locks are really cool, too. I thought maybe they'd be a pain in the butt to, uh, to use. But as you can see, they pop right in and out really easy. You just like a little quarter turn, they pop right up. And there you go. You, you have your electronics completely exposed. And then you got the clamshell. You pop it right back on. You're good to go. Uh, the next stage is going to be the body. And I'm going to pick that up on a different video because... That is going to be an in-depth process. I have, it's a hard body. I will be doing a weathered paint job. Then I've got the driver and everything to paint and the wheels and everything. So stay tuned for that. I've been building a spray booth so I can get started on that. But thanks for watching everybody. And Mr. Elf, thank you. You have no idea how happy I was to build this kit. It was just a, a complete joy to assemble. I'd never, it, it's all metal construction and carbon fiber. It's just really cool. It's not like the other plastic kits I've done before, or even the Kyoshos are, are completely different from this. This is just really a hunk of metal. This thing is heavy, but thank you very much, Mr. Elf making dreams come true all over the RC community. You are a legend.